The US dollar attracted traders' attention due to the ISM manufacturing PMI data, which showed rise. Now market participants are preoccupied with the possible acceleration in the US inflation as it may force the Fed to raise the key interest rate. Against this background, the euro and the pound sterling slid from their peaks. Statistical reports also contributed to a drop in the currencies. Thus, data on the UK credit market was well below the forecast. Traders were mainly disappointed by the consumer credit report. Economists had predicted a rise of 500 million pounds. However, the indicator declined by 377 million pounds. As a result, the UK consumer credit has been falling for eight months in a row. This points to a slump in consumer activity, which slows down economic recovery. The euro is losing in value even more quickly than the British pound. The decline was mainly caused by the fears of inflation growth and higher interest rates. Yesterday, the preliminary inflation data somehow reduced risks of the worst scenario. However, the report on the producer price index, which is a leading indicator for inflation, proved the opposite. The Eurozone producer price index advanced to 7.6% from 4.3%, whereas economists had expected a smaller rise to 7%. In other words, risks that inflation may exceed the ECB's targeted level have increased. That's why there is still a possibility of monetary policy tightening in the near future. Yesterday, the euro-dollar pair failed to consolidate above 1.2250. This had a negative influence on the volume of long positions. The fact is that the resistance level of 1.2230 continues exerting the pressure on buyers. This in turn led to a slowdown followed by drop. Analyzing the current chart, we can see that the price is rapidly falling. High dynamic and speculative activity have already caused oversold conditions. Thus, the pair may slow down near the level of 1.2160. At the same time, the pound-dollar pay is still hovering between the levels of 1.4100 and 1.4240. Yesterday, the pair downwardly broke the upper limit. On the trading chart, we can see that the price repeats the same movements within the range. The pay is likely to hover near the lower limit of 1.41. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.